you might have heard about Mickey Mouse entering public domain and that there will be horror films about it but it's actually not just Mickey Mouse eh watch on uh, to know why our childhood uh, is about to be ruined from 2024 eh? so so uh, so just some very brief context uh, about copyright in the US uh, basically uh, copyright uh, doesn't last forever one, eh? so just imagine I'm in the US and this video you're watching now uh, is copyright uh, but once I die uh, and 70 or 95 or uh, 120 years later uh, the copyright will expire so it will be in the so called public domain uh, whereby no one has the copyright to it uh, uh. Anyone can use it in any way they want. In fact, uh, because of this, uh, there are actually many books that are in the public domain. Since back in the old days, uh, people only write books instead of do videos. Ma. Examples are like Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Pride and Pooh, or The Time Machine. So if you pay for any of the books, uh, then you are just paying the publisher. Uh. Creative works going into public domain is very common. Uh. Like for example, uh, back in 2022, uh, the creative works of the first Winnie the Pooh uh, and Bob of Life in the Woods uh, enter public domain and all hell breaks loose. Like literally, uh, horror film uh, that turns the adorable Winnie the Pooh uh, and his friends uh, into scary killers was released and it's sequel that will be out of 14 Frap 2024 which continues to feature Winnie the Pooh uh. of course uh, people were sad because uh, their favorite childhood characters have become scary characters instead now this might be hard to understand since many of us uh, might not know the true story of Winnie the Pooh so let's use another example uh. imagine Marvel movies are uh, having Superman and Superman uh, to be a bad guy uh, with a big belly and not be right but it's actually possible uh, from 1st January 2034 because uh, by then uh, Superman will also enter public domain which then uh, we might even forget how the OG Superman is like yeah. now this is what happened to Mickey Mouse since 1st January 2024 uh. in fact uh, it's not just Mickey Mouse eh. other creative works uh, like Peter Pan uh, and -la 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 also enter public domain uh, in 2024 however uh, Mickey Mouse actually went through some changes and because some of the changes were made later uh, so their copyright hasn't expired yet so it's just this Mickey Mouse uh, the very OG one uh, that anyone is able to use and as expected uh, the trailer for a Mickey Mouse horror film uh, is immediately released and I bet all my assets uh, that you'll be seeing more. Now, if this is very common, uh, why are we reading so much news about this? Eh? Is it because Mickey Mouse is a popular character? No, eh. it's because uh, it's Mickey Mouse that kind of created the law, or more of uh, the law that extends the copyright period. You see, uh, before 1998, uh, the period whereby a creative work is protected by copyright in the US uh, was supposed to be 50 years, 75 years, or 100 years. 50 years if it's by an individual, which will start once the individual dies as well. 75 years or 100 years if it's by a company that hires someone to create the creative works. As usually 75 years, because uh, 75 years uh, is for the date of public or 100 years uh, is for the date of creation. And no one uh, will create a work uh, and then publish it 25 years later one, uh. so okay ma. Uh, until you realize, uh, if that's the case, uh, then Mickey Mouse uh, will enter public domain uh, in 2004 instead. Eh. Which is why the Walt Disney Company, uh, knowing this, uh, has lobbied for a longer period. Uh. Because over in the US, uh, companies can kind of do things to influence the laws, which is called la 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 la. They wanted the copyright protection to last forever instead and gave several arguments uh, like how life has increased, uh, more protection for owners, uh, etc. etc. Now, of course, companies that will be uh, will openly say that they are blah, 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 but still, uh, people will speculate and therefore, uh, when a new law is passed, uh, whereby the protection period will be 70 years, 95 years, or 120 years, people call it the Mickey Mouse Protection Act, uh, although the official name uh, is Copyright Term Extension Act. However, actually, uh, back then, uh, it wasn't just the Walt Disney company. Company, uh, that lobby, uh, but many other companies too. But people just sync it to Mickey Mouse. Uh. Now, if you're watching this in 234, can you tell us uh, who wins in the battle between Superman and Iron Man? For more informative content, uh, download our app, uh, link in the description. If you think you learned something, uh, consider subscribing uh, and also watch this video uh, to be slightly smarter.